Hi guys, welcome to the MMA Wales podcast, our 40th episode anniversary special. It's, <laughs> we've done 40 special. episodes since since Brett won a, a fight. Wait, I'm just figuring out something <laughs> in two seconds. <laughs> since the, the, our Wait first there. episode. Right, was... I haven't won a fight in 623 days. <laughs> So this is the 623rd day anniversary of Brett winning a fight. To be honest, though, right, if you hadn't had finished that fight the way you did, you probably would have been given some different foot fights. You yeah. probably would have had a lot more wins. I should have just lost that fight. <laughs> so, right. Just not cast slices yeah. of him, do you know what I mean? So, so 623. Nice, nice decision win there. Then they would have given you another <laughs> fight to build you up rather than giving you another top five opponent. Like, Spew it. <laughs> so uh, if anyone hasn't realised, we are joined here today with uh, Mason, the Dragon Jones. Mason, welcome to the show. You've been on before, but it's the first time in the new studio. What do you think? Awesome. Honestly, it's um, awesome to see you expanding and doing well for yourself. And um, nice to be at the nice do, big space. What, what do you think of um, the table? <laughs> <laughs> I think I said, oh, we need a big table, but yeah. it takes like three people to carry it. <laughs> <laughs> Table's good. Do you want to stitch easy again, bro? Stitch into a tablecloth, man. Uh, we just get the boys in community service to do it. Yeah, yeah. community <laughs> yeah. service boys made the table yeah, for us. <laughs> Uh, get, get him stitched all the heaven now. Fred's a governor can help. <laughs> <laughs> he got time. So you were fighting on the next Cage Warriors in Cardiff, right? Yeah. And your fight is being announced at some point today. Yeah. But you're going to tell us now because this isn't going out. We promise you that we ain't going to put this Watch out. Now. This will go live before yeah. 6 o'clock now. now <laughs> it's actually on me. Facebook Live right now. <laughs> we are live. We out hopefully uh, over the weekend. Good. Just so start. we wouldn't release this until your fight is confirmed. So tell us who yeah. you're fighting. So this morning I had an interview with ITV um, because apparently they're going to declare it after the ITV thing. So I had an interview with ITV um, and then my fight's going live around 6.30 after they sort of announced on there, even though they didn't really say his name on the interview. But I'm fighting, um, how do you say his name? Um, I'm going to go, go on. You know. Alexi, go on, you, you go. You can. You're an MC, so um, you're job. Alexi Mantikivi. So Mantikivi. he's a Finnish guy. Um, he's a really good striker. Um, what he means is he's from Finland. Like, <laughs> Finland, yeah. like he, um, we're, all, we're all finishers. <laughs> Me, Finnish. Like. But anyway, he, um, he fought... Uh, his last Cage Warriors fight, I think, was against Jack Grant. Um, Jack finished him in the first round, and um, I think he's had two fights since then. But um, he's a really good striker, and I'm really he looking forward some, to taking his teeth out. He got some, he got some good wins, didn't he? Mm. A good fight, mind for you. Sorry, I'm back, he beat him. Yeah, yeah, I was reading that now. So, hell of a fight. T your first round punches. I reckon Soren Banks going to fight Jai, I do, in Birmingham. Is it? That'd be a good scrap, though. I don't know who else is going to give him. Who else is it? Yeah. Then Desme, because Desme's fighting... Um, Who's Desme fighting? Tim Barnett, isn't it? Ah, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's Tim, yeah, it is Tim. Yeah, Tim yeah. Barnett. Yeah, he's a light Yeah. I like Tim, I like Tim Barnett, but I mean, at, the, at the minute, I think, obviously, I think Soren's gone through a bit of a rut. He tried out for Featherweight, that didn't work out. He's holding up for USC, he is. He's just yeah. being... I don't know what he's doing, but it's just... Sandbagging. Like, just fight, <laughs> just fight people. Yeah. You know, fight is fight. Don't get, 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 like, it's just... just have you have you met him people. before? No. Oh yeah, I seen him on the Cardiff car. We didn't really talk to him. He's he, just walking around he... with a, that axe in his hand and all, so I didn't really fancy it. <laughs> <laughs> he walked around with that axe in his hand, so I thought, what's the point going and talking to him? Like, we're very like, approachable. Just shaking my head at him, like, just, come on. <laughs> Not very <laughs> approachable, like. <laughs> yeah. Hey mate, what's happening? He's nice axe. on him, like, oh, boy, that. I'll skip that one. Look like yeah. smells, man. What have we got in common? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> Slay the dragon. He doesn't do, he doesn't do a session off a show on a three air on a Saturday night. He's out hunting, he's out hunting bears. Not yeah. for us. Uh, no, yeah. His account didn't go down. Yeah, no. He's not going to dodge your account down. He's still dealing with shillings, he is. Uh, honestly, oh, it's, just, it's weird, man. But yeah. I think yeah. everyone in like, wait a minute, all the boys who are like the top, even like Jai, it's like, um, they just, it's, they got this weird thing where they win the belt and then they think, Right, I'm just gonna hold out now until USC come yeah. all in. Whereas you should just keep no. fighting. No, like they're not just signing they, people I'm, with a belt. They, they, it I don't mean. make sense. It's like um, when you fight, you fight, you win the belt. That's awesome, big achievement. Yeah. But at the end of the day, like you, you've done what you can in cage warriors. You've got to defend. Like UFC, it all depends on when they're deciding to hire and stuff. Like obviously yeah. you know because you would like you and Chuck were obviously the first to win. Like you, you had the the biggest sort of resistance to overcome to get yeah. signed and. 
Like, yeah. it's a lot easier now to get signed than it was when you two was Yeah, I, well, then again, though, like I said, the days, like, I think people used to watch Corn McGregor, he'd won, he'd won a belt, and then when, he, got, both, when, he, won, when he won the lightweight belt, because he didn't defend, they signed it. I think people assume then you can, like, go and have a fight, you can win the belt, then it's like, right, we love the UFC. The UFC won't sign unless you start defending that belt. You can all, all fairness. How many fights did you have after I, your cage or his belt? I, 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 I didn't, Ten? I didn't, I didn't, <laughs> yeah. I what organization do you go to the US? I went, to, I went, to, I went from, from, from cage I've MC Titans. So what happened was, I had my, I had, I had my first belt. <laughs> Then, then, I, then I lost my. Don't then I lost the off. belt. I lost the belt. <laughs> and then I went to sign with Titan FC. So after ILX. I actually, actually, I actually initially win the first belt. I actually had three more fights after that. Yeah, what was it? We was well, fourteen or thirteen now when you no, went. No, twelve. Like twelve and when I got signed. 12. Yeah. So like I said. What, so what? What fights were the title for Cage Warriors? It was like six, no? What's that now? How many fights did you had when you fought for the title, Cage Warriors? Oh, well, in case you did that tournament. Yeah. Did the yeah. tournament, yeah. But like I said, I got put in that tournament as a bit of an outsider. So Nobody <laughs> thought you were going to win. Everyone no. was like, who's Brett Johns? No. I know, that's what I'm saying. Cause I, what, what actually Single happened was, I think if, I, if, I, if I'd actually not had that tournament, I was definitely about three or four fights away from even getting a title shot. The reason why yeah. is like, yeah, everybody yeah, else would yeah, bottle yeah, it. Yeah. You know? but, and to be it. fair, when you fought in that tournament, you, you had... Uh, that you got drawn against the favourite in your oh, first God. fight. Like I hate the Scandinavians. Oh. I just hate them. They're just good. They're just really good. Like, I hate you again. Yeah, I don't. No, I, I hate them as in like they're very good. They're the guys yeah. you don't want to draw in the first fight. You know. But that's that's, that's who you got, and then yeah. you overcome that's that. That's the now. No, I just like I said, I love fighting like this. <laughs> just come on. Who did, what, what, what's the name? What, what's his name? Hagstrom. Hagstrom. Yeah. 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 So he got caught at the end of the, was the first round. Yeah, I know the first time he's a self park or something. My guy's a guy. He's had his hand in here. My elbows are flaring. Swaps from the knee. Back leg oh. roundhouse off a self park as well. Mm. And he was like, oh, God. and like ding ding ding. Oh, I was like, honest God, I, I was. My ribs felt like they were <laughs> in my mouth. Like, did I mean? When you but can't, then, you start, you feel that resistance when you're breathing. Yeah. Anyways, Mind you, I, I remember, right you, I remember round, you taking a crack. Uh, it, it didn't even, it didn't even phase you though. I did. I can breathe. Just stop <laughs> breathing yourself. <laughs> oh, I can hold this for a minute and a half now. Shot him for a second. With me, I was doing donkey noises. I got. I played a yaw like. <laughs> <laughs> Same that with Pedro, but that time I just went, oh, yeah, I didn't even yeah, have a choice. Yeah, sometimes I feel like you've got a choice with a ball you shot. You kept that hitting me. You gotta, you stay there, it was the leg that dealt with you, because oh. he hit our leg so many times. Oh, how, how, long, how long was it after that fight before you go walk? <laughs> Because you I, had that many legs before Chini can't week. take much yeah. more. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> I was Christ. I went to LA, I went to LA afterwards after the fight because like, I was swole. I was swole and everywhere, right? Okay. And I ended up... Um, I too swole to fly. Yeah. Oh, no. Then I ended up staying up an extra week after the fight. See, so I thought I would go down to uh, Orlando Universal Studios. Mm. Blah, blah, blah. It's cool. But that went out the window. Sure, a wheelchair, man. Yeah, Don't sure. Just really right. <laughs> Most of the Americans have gone on their mobile scooters. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, mobile scooter. You should have had a mobile scooter oh, with a turkey leg. <laughs> In one of the press <laughs> we went to Orlando before hey, man. And, um, <laughs> there were these little bridges in, in Orlando um, for like obviously like just to make it look scenic like over like bits of rivers yeah, yeah. whatever there's some guy on a um, on a mobility scooter he was that big the scooter wouldn't go all this tiny little bridge <laughs> so my brother was pushing him over like, <laughs> it's just the size of my days yeah. man Prola push no. uh, in, the, in Orlando the, the last two carriages on every ride are for bigger people which I think is wrong. They should be at the front because it make the right go faster. <laughs> the front. What was it? Was it a heart attack for the grillers? That's well, in Vegas a heart attack. Right? If you weigh over three hundred and fifty pounds, yeah. couldn't it? They applaud you. No, they, you get to eat for free. Oh my god! Honestly, god. How many like, times do you eat there? Honestly, <laughs> honestly, they were joking, honestly, man. Honestly, Twice. Honestly, god, I went there. Okay, it was, that, it was actually after the sort of fight, uh, and I was there. I was sitting there, I'll show you and my, a guy yeah. jumped the scales. And he weighed four hundred pounds, and we all started applauding him. I was thinking, "Why are you applauding?" You're <laughs> being fat. Being fat. Yeah, I'm going long left. <laughs> but like, but like yeah. the they, they got this look when they weigh on that scale in front of the entire restaurant. They got that look like, They're "Yes, tough. I get to eat for free," They're but tough. but then oh. they got that like, this, then yeah. the sadness hits them. They ain't gonna yeah. see their next birthday. <laughs> oh, there's some, there's some big Is that why he got there. spanked? Just spanked. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What was every name? day. That's an every weekend thing. What was your name? Right? <laughs> what was your name? What's that? Lola the midget. Yeah, Lola. She's, yeah. She basically <laughs> right. If you don't need to talk about your girlfriend. If you don't, oh mid, I would have. <laughs> <laughs> like what, what you? The thing with heart attack really is you you uh, if you don't eat your meat you get spanked. Yeah. And uh, me, me, Ryan and Christy, you know Ryan Bassett and your Christy yeah, the yeah. ring girl, we went here the first time. 
and uh, we we ate our meat and I had about this much left on my triple bypass burger and I was like look love I want a spanking if I eat this bit can, oh can I still get spanked oh yeah we love a freebie I was like <laughs> lay it on me bitch <laughs> so, so she went to town and I went in I thought I did the triple bypass last time so me and my girlfriend went to say I went for the quadruple I left about that much this time. I just couldn't stomach it. And I, I didn't have a midget this time. I had a fully grown woman. and now A normal it. woman, right? <laughs> yeah. she, a fully grown woman. She spanked the life woman. out of me. Hurt like hell. <laughs> also, what, find what my made Johnny Ball went there and Kay, and he picked up the, the, the... He couldn't eat all of it. Picked it up and squeezed the pad. You should have seen the grease. Oh, oh, Do you know your milkshakes come with a, a lump of butter in it? Like a... Oh. And that's, that's like wealth doing territory for me. That is. That's not. That's not. <laughs> <laughs> well, how many? How many did you get to after a fight, Miss? One eighty, one eight five. Is it really eight four k? Well, um, eighty three and a half. Guys, they're gone ready. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Still the, trying to stay under the middleweight limit, yeah. Well, <laughs> I get fans. I'm gonna say, oh, so, right. yeah. so you get my yeah, abs. So you get you sleep. You you still got abs, but they just literally just pushed so far out, yeah. and you're like. My missus, look at me, she's going, you can't pray anymore, wait on I'm like, why? <laughs> she's like, please don't. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Just one more burger. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> the reason why I said that is because obviously, when you do judo, what weight do you do judo? 73s was the end weight, but I, yeah. six, um, I won uh, the nationals at 50s, and yeah. then um, obviously it went up 50, then. 50, 50, 50, like, 50 kilos, one. like, I pull that after a fight, 50 mm. k. Yeah, I have. Yeah. Are you in there? Because Ricky Sean Bridges and getting spanked by midgets. So I, I enjoy that. <laughs> I'll, 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 I'll DM it to you later. <laughs> so let's back to MMA now. Yeah, sorry. You were saying back to where you were saying earlier about having the title shot getting into having the belt getting into the UFC. There's yeah. two great examples of that. You got Jack Shaw who defended Marshman, a Marshman as well actually, and then you got on the other end of the scale you got. Brett Paddy, Nathaniel Wood, yeah. pa- Brett Miss Wade but you know, like yeah. you know, like Paddy. Yeah, he he was destined for UFC. It was like yeah. when his yeah. next, yeah. they offered yeah. him a contract, he turned it down, and uh, he got beat by a guy from Bristol. Nad, not a Nad, yeah. yeah. and, and then he got signed, mm. and Nad got signed instead. Well, so this, let me tell you this something. This could be a good exclusive for you. Jack Grant, Jai Herb, Herbert. Before that fight, Jack Grant got offered a UFC contract, I turned know. it down to, to fight for the belt first. Said I won the belt before I move on. And now oh, he's wow. stuck in your in cage. Yeah. Yeah. And he ain't got a contract. That's why Jai was holding out so far to, yeah. to so, not fight. So has he got an exclusive contract with Cage Warriors? Jai. Jack. No, because um, apparently the offer was off the table after he lost. That's that's all I heard. Oh, wow. I didn't hear that direct from anyone. I heard that through um, sort of. Through yeah, 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 yeah. Ten, ten years ago, Dan Hardy, um, he was fighting Chad Reiner on a Cage Warriors event. Yeah. And it was a defense of his title. And he had the contract with him at Cage Warriors. Did he? And and people were like saying to him, Dan, why didn't you just sign his contract now? And and everyone remembers this. Like Dan said, if I can't beat Chad Reiner tonight, oh I don't deserve to be in the UFC. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he beat him. Yeah. It was a Certainly contract. incredible fight. I love, I love them stories where people declining the first offer and getting there. Because Manoa was like that. Manoa had like... Jim, he he offered contract, loads. Me? But to be fair, he... You know, he hadn't fought anyone tidy the beginning. No. Of the day. Knocking, <laughs> just knocking drug dealers out in London. Yeah. Living, living, living the dream. Yeah. No, he, 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 he wasn't. Well, he didn't. Really, he Who's the last guy you fought? Though? Ant- Anthony Rhea, is it? Anthony Rhea? Anthony, David Rowe fought him the other day. Did he? <laughs> when the distance, people reckon David actually won, huh? Yeah. So. Yeah, where was that? France. Was oh, it was out there, was it? Yeah, maybe it was somewhere like Luxembourg or something on the border. I keep forgetting, man. He keeps saying he's retired, yeah, but I don't know what. For, he said he's retiring from MMA, but not K1, so I don't even know. And then he's fighting MMA as well. <laughs> he's never retired. Yeah. He can't. He's, they just want to yeah. fight. I never understood that. It's like when you when you retire, you should just step out. That's and it. Instead, like, they keep coming back. And it's like. Um, yeah, but he never actually uh, stopped, did he? Who's the top Tito T's another one? It's just yeah. like. Tell you someone come back or from that, though. It was one of your friends. You right here? Mm that's oh you're right yeah. Yeah. honestly that guy he was um like he said he was still training three times a day but he literally just turned up to jiu-jitsu after everyone's done the technique and he turned on and he drew a couple of rolls and he, he's, he beat he's so relaxed though man he's been and that he game just, a long time yeah, right. he just, as, soon as, he, as soon as the fight got announced he knew he was definitely on it he started running and all he started back into the sparring and stuff yeah. he did about six seven week camp and he's ready to go because he is always ripped up mind he's always yeah. eating healthy Rick, Ricky Simons was a Risky fight to take as well, like I said, the chin him that guy as well. Be- believe yeah. it, believe, Underdog it, is only believe it or not, that was when I fight Ricky Simone's um, 2016 March. And I pulled up to my shoulder 
I, that was the fight that I was meant to get my belt back from Titan FC. Is it? Yeah, so we were fighting in March. And I popped my shoulder out. Beginning, no, popped my shoulder. No, my shoulder was... You put some weight on you, dude. I some weight on you won't get injured. Oh, mate, I, I always <laughs> see the size I get up to after a fight. I can see, I can... I hit yeah. yeah, 12, well, like well. I hit 77, <laughs> said, yeah, I do well at 77. I went out to Vegas in... Uh, when you couldn't fight no one championship. April, no way, because we fight, and I'd be fighting Brandon Vera. <laughs> <laughs> I ended, up, I ended up going to Vegas, I jumped on the scales, and they went, what have you done to yourself? <laughs> like a 169 in Vegas, like, I mean, and that was after, like, waking up in the morning, 7K, seven, seven like, nice. I remember, um, nuts, even right? when I used to box, obviously, I went out to Vegas and boxed, and um, the way they, like, how how lean they are, for yeah. considering how big they look. Because, like, yeah. even one of the boys went out, they went out with a um, boy called Hollywood Josh, and um, that was obviously his bring name, Hollywood Josh. Oshawa. I was a class first name Hollywood. Yeah, and um, he fought um, same weight as me, so I was fighting under seventy. So obviously, um, it's like sixty nine ki- kilos. It was super wild. It was yeah in boxing, and um, he was like sitting like seventy three kilos, and he was like taller than me, big black guy, like shreds. Shreds, yeah, shreds. Yeah. I was stepping on. I, I think it's the uh, I think it's the Welsh yeah. tan as well. Though. Yeah. <laughs> the pay, the pasting that's done like you look at is uh, <laughs> so what I mean you got a nice tan mate you are <laughs> 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 freckles <laughs> eyes <laughs> yeah I feel lean at the minute no tan tan oh tan no 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 unless all these joined together yeah. right I he's think got more nice. <laughs> yeah, I think he's got nice. more freckles you're looking lean like that thank you mate tan they said tan Ben Affleck white Ben Affleck yeah so now we have Jack Shaw going to the UFC Everyone's saying now the focus is on you. He's the torch has passed you. You are the figurehead for Welsh MMA. Do you feel any pressure? No, not really. No, it's just a bit of fun for me, you know. But um, <laughs> just, that's it. That's good. There's, there's no extra pressure. Like I think Brad will agree with me after the judo and stuff. Where um, you literally you go out and you're switched on. You lose in ten seconds. You can yeah. go home carrying suitcases. Yeah, I don't really see it as a thing. Like um, the Casper fight was a massive massive example for this like I went out there and the first minute was terrible like he was all over me for the first minute if that was a judo comp I would have been going home because the fight's finished mm. but um, with that you get more than second chances especially um, if you do how many times yeah so. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah that was Emmy was his fight of the year yeah congratulations and of the year and Cage so, was his fight of the year yeah, yeah. so um, <laughs> it's just it's a good example of whereas obviously if, if I'd been in UFC I don't think you'd get that option so it just shows how much I had to improve and yeah. obviously looking at the Desmay fight I think I have obviously improved and yeah. we tightened things up and we've yeah. tightened my game yeah. plan up so that this doesn't happen again and that um, I have an idea of what I need to do at the start to make sure that I can hit my stream and don't need to get caught like our again but um, yeah. it's just I, I, I don't really see the pressure there just because I enjoy it so much mm. and like the walk and stuff is I enjoy the walk that's one yeah. of my favourite parts so by the time you're in there and they shut the cage like the walk's done all the hard work's done it's just like well I've just got to finish you now and yeah. move on to the next time yeah um, I think <coughs> how, how quickly you've Adapted around, yeah, I, man, I, it's I, been... I don't think you've had time to worry about it. No, well, this, this, <laughs> this year in the last 12 months, I only had two fights, so yeah, that's what been so I had five in 12. <laughs> Five fights in twelve months. That's not like that's that's not even mm-hmm. like amateur. Amateur, I'd be like, yeah, okay, I understand. I'm a pro. Is like that's unheard of. And it was every fight that I've got my record. Um, when I fought them, they had winning records. There wasn't anyone who had a uh, losing. Record yeah. Them. Fought them. Oh, yeah. Fought no Barry Montes. No, no Barry Montes. Is right. Zero twos. Do you mean? So um, no. They, no bunnies on that one. Um, they were all winning records records at yeah. the time like obviously some of them have slipped a bit since then um, yeah. and their records but then again mate, you but fought some good like, I, I rate Desme like I rate Desme yeah, yeah. highly I rate obviously Casper was class when I watched that fight though that Casper was, was a harder fight than Desme yeah, yeah. just because um, he could adapt a little bit yeah. and he adapted to what he was doing really quick whereas Desme didn't adapt for the full three do, rounds do you feel like Casper was the better striker then yeah yeah, yeah. 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 Um, Desme, I come out of that fight and I'm bruised, one bruise. Yeah, All I yeah. had was a swollen foot from kicking him. Yeah, um, <laughs> kick looked amazing that fight. I man. tore the, um, I kicked him that many times. Um, that's why I stopped throwing turns because I tore the muscle off my shin. Yeah. So um, I had a bit of a nerve sticking out for a long time after it. So um, I had to keep taping my calf around to cover the, the <laughs> to cover nerve. my the nerve, the kick. <laughs> Otherwise, you just have you know like when someone nobles you like they knee you in the leg and your whole leg goes dead. Yeah. And you can't put weight on it in this act. That feeling where it's like normally you can push through, I mean, but it's just like electricity coming through your leg. Yeah. Like that for ages. Like you kick, and then I'd be like, going white in the face, thinking, 
the shirt and kicking the game like all pads and my coach is looking at me I did it with Giff and he was looking at me and he was holding pads and I was kicking him he's looking at me and he's going you're right just yeah 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 and all of a sudden then my, I was sort of like sinking more and more in the leg because I couldn't put weight to the leg yeah so um, physio sort that out what's but, the worst um, injury you've had in a fight in MMA or yeah, in MMA, MMA. Things? Um, I thought I broke my hand um, yeah. all I did was damage the ligaments and all the ligaments went to shit, basically. on whose so, head um, Craig Edwards because I ate ah, him that many yeah, times yeah. and <laughs> that was just again that was stupid if I literally step back level changed and it's an awesome learning experience to me hit, hit some body shots then gone back to the head just literally rather than just drilling him in the head but I thought he's surely he's, like they're going to stop us now it was yeah. like ah working away cracking him in the head yeah. and um, tough though tough yeah, yeah with BK, BKK BKK yeah. yeah yeah you got a good team don't yeah. you he just honestly and um, like I spoke to him after, after the fight because he was talking and because um, he said he had a really bad break on his nose yeah. Um, but I had problems with my hand for yeah, the the fight against um, who was the French boy I fought the one who fought Jack before come on there come on there yeah. that was one of the reasons I wrestled him so much was just yeah, because yeah. my hand was in pieces like, so uh, again. to tell anyone my cam just was like oh I'm going to sub this guy so <laughs> 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 right hand like, different <laughs> <laughs> but come on again come on there he's another another really good guy you've beaten beating yeah. some legit guys it's been a as I say a tough run to where you are yeah but but it's, it's also awesome and, and like we spoke about before it's like um, it's an awesome learning experience for when I do get a cage the U- UFC because it's in my eyes it's just working away matter of time keep beating these guys and we'll care there and then surely like there's not going to be that much of a step up mm. like um, the Jack Grants the yeah. the Jai Herb yeah. but Hesme's like I think they're the sort of on that UFC level anyway like yeah. Yeah. bottom bottom runs do you know what I mean but they are and um, that's, that's arguable some of them are some of them are not like, oh, like Jai you know, would have been I'd love to fight Jai um, yeah. that was, that's a dream fight for me and um, I got nothing but respect for him yeah. um, Jack Grants and the other one and they Good are guys. I like the division cage what was stacked, it? stacked like, yeah, 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 it's definitely. weird it's like who's there now it's like Tim Barnett's coming through again yeah um uh, well, Reece, Desmond's he's gone, gone up the welter. He's gone up the welter. Yeah. Um, Jack's coming off a loss. Yeah. Um, Soren's disappeared off the planet because he's scared to fight everyone. Yeah. Um, mm. Jai's holding his belt. Um, yeah. So it's just sort of like, like I'm game to fight them all. I'd, I'd love to fight all of them. It's well, like, um, obviously mm. this guy first, and like I said, he looks very good opponent. Yeah. yeah what? Do, who do you want next? Obviously, I know you can't look past this guy, but. A step up would be nice again, but um, again, it's just I, I like all these top boys. So like uh, the Jack Grants, yeah. the, um, the, I'd love to fight like them because it's so it's such a test for yourself. You, you wouldn't um, turn any of them. Down, the harder resistance. No. I've never turned a fight down in my no. career so far. Like they offered me Perry Goodwin, I signed that, and um, yeah. all of a sudden they come back and Perry was fighting Reese before that fight. That's right, yeah. And then um, it was just like I've. I'm I, I'm not worried about these boys because yeah. the higher level they compete at, I know the better fighter yeah. in myself they'll turn yeah. up on the night. It's all fairness, but after your record, no, if you sign now, people look by the record and think well, that's a good record. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's just everything else. Um, my brother was tweeting. So after after Jai beat Jack, I put on the Instagram post the announcement up. I said I'm not impressed. Yeah. Like, nothing disrespectful. Nothing because I, I wasn't impressed because Jai did good and he had a good win. At, but I don't think that was the best Jack Grant we've seen. I don't think he turned up as yeah. well as I've seen in other fights. So I think, um, obviously, the way I was fighting at that time, and even now, obviously, um, could, yeah, I was at the end of camp at that point, so I was fully fit and fully, put, like, do you mean I was ready to go? I um, I would have run through the two of them. Yeah. Um, so nothing disrespectful I just said I'm not impressed as if do you know what I mean it's good yeah. for the two of us build it up and um, his missus was flat out on, on Instagram replying I didn't I don't reply after that but my <laughs> brother was arguing with me on Instagram and she was like well who have you fought you haven't fought anyone apart from Tesme and I'm like well I've, all, I've only fought the people I've been offered and I've yeah. always said I'll fight everyone in the division so they offered me I called him Jacobson mm-hmm. and the only reason I didn't fight him is because they basically said look we don't want you to take that fight yet um, keep winning as long as he's winning we'll okay with him eventually mm. but they that's, they didn't want me to do it so yeah. in my eyes I'll just fight everyone they put they're in front of me they're bringing they're, they're, you're coming on the pace they wanted to basically mm. it? and it's, it's whatever they offer <coughs> for me we gotta we gotta check a break in two seconds because um, time is running yeah, seconds, seconds before it just goes beep yeah, <laughs> so, Never so back we'll be back in a minute Welcome back to part two. We're still with uh, Mason. Still here. So Mason, um, we were just talking in the break and about you, 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 you've been away training and stuff to like alpha male. You got any more plans to do that? 
before your next fight? Um, September the 4th, I'm going back out for three weeks. So, um, alpha know, male? Alpha male again, yeah. I'm going to um, crash with one of the boys I train out there, his house for Uriah. a week. Then, um, no, he's, <laughs> he's got a kid and everything, hasn't he? So, one of the coaches. <laughs> um, then, um, my coach is coming out, so we've rented a house for, um, I've covered the house for a week, and then um, I'm crashing in one of the guys again for another week and a bit. Oh, Come nice. on, man, see the missus. Class. Did you, you feel like training out there? Uh, what, what benefits does it do for you? Like sparring partners. Is that, just that's the sparring main. partners. Like I know Brett look with this. It's like yeah. you have your core. Obviously, your group of people who are there will be able to spar with you when they're on the level. Um, but usually it's like two or three boys who are on the level about your weight. Out there, um, it's like I spar with Feely, um, Chris Gonzalez, who's an unbelievable wrestler. Yeah, Feely's he's got some striking. Yeah. Um, Darren Elkins got unbelievable pressure. Um, there's some. Um, I want to say Russians, but then I don't think which part they're from. Um, Chechnyans, I think. Yeah, Chechnyans. There's two Chechnyans brothers who are like 15 and 0 and 40 and 0, and um, they literally just try and bleed me to death every time I spar with them. So we just go to war. Um, that's not really sparring. No. Um, there's um, there's a kickboxing out there, Slav, who was like um, he was like a world champion kickboxer. He was boxing professionally at the minute, professionally. But um, we had some good rounds. He's another one. He's like a Soviet, so they just. It's never spar yeah, so they just no. want to go to war like, but all the time, yeah. it's good because it's a good mix because like you can pick those fights where you know the guy like I'll spar with Feely and we'll have awesome sparring but you know he's not going in there to bruise me like we're going in there just to try and spar yeah. properly yeah. and you can have that hard sparring without worrying about injuries or marks mm. and then if I want to really push that another notch I can spar with the Chechnyans and I think the last time I sparred with them um, the one boy didn't walk for a week after yeah. it so um, one of them spars. <laughs> well, one of them wheelchair for a week spars. Yeah. Like. <laughs> one of them things where um, I came in and my missus was there staying with me and um, he was saying stuff to her all the time, like um, trying to wind me up, I was saying she was pretty and stuff like that. And stuff like that don't bother me, so I sat there laughing. And um, <laughs> as soon as they grabbed the partner, they were like, um, he was like, oh, do you want first? Do you want first? I was like, yeah, yeah, because it was just spa day. So um, they did sort of like, um, before they went into spa, and they was like, oh, we'll do a bit of a warm up. So just sort of like, um, Drill on drill, so you do one drill and your partner, they go try and block and sort of check and then you do a drill back and sort of one for one. Well, it was all fine. I sort of like tip tap through, caught me some nice shots, but nothing hard. He came through and boom, boom, trying to, just before we'd even started. So, so if he set the pace before we even started. So as soon as the sparring started, we give each other a nod and I just, first thing I did was step out, just booted him as hard as I could in the Achilles. <laughs> <laughs> Grabbed him, stepped out, booted him as hard as I could in the Achilles. Stepped out, booted him as hard as I could, Nick Achilles, and then that was it. Then he couldn't walk. So, what, what, what are you going to do when he can't walk? You, know I mean? <laughs> <laughs> you can't do much, and I'll just keep We've trying kicking him. Yeah. 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 We've jump, all learned that. I'll jump the top of him. <laughs> but then they're the type of people after, after the class, him and his brother on the way out both mentioned me how I should spar lighter. And I'm like, well, I'll only ever spar the level yeah, I spar yeah, at. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, you, you, le- you, you, yeah. you know this as well. I'm going to train for that. that. What I do is I'll walk forward the first shot and, and see where they can off the first shot. Um, when I first went out there, I sparred with Sage Northcutt. Oh, f- and, um, was he was the first person I sparred with. So, um, <laughs> unbelievably nice. Like, you know, some people, like, they act nice on camera and yeah. all. They'll be like, however long I've been out there, I need to message me sometimes on Instagram and all. He's just weirdly, like, he done, he's not even a real person. He's grown up. Proper act, American, like, yeah. too nice. Christian, I'll tell you the rest off camera, but proper down, right? Christian, like, honestly, he just, he's yeah. unbelievably nice, right? Yeah. But, we sort of sparred, so we come through, so I was like, right, learn match level. So he, th- he hit me with a jab to start, and um, I was like, right, so it's not like blood sport, but like he spars hard, so yeah. I was like, right, here we go. So come through, he caught me, um, like I said, he um, back kicked me, couldn't breathe. Well, I was like, right, here we go. So I thought, right, well, what are you going to do now? I'm going to have to try and move, try and change that again. Caught me in the other back kick, couldn't breathe, and then he did a spin up kick. I blocked, and he hit me that hard, he hit me off, off my feet, even oh, though I was wow. like this, blasting me off, off, off my feet. So they were like, Sage, we told you no more spin knock kicks after you knocked the last one out. It was like, right, no way, here we go. Run away for the rest of the round. But it's like, they don't, it's, it's not where that, you know, they're winding up and throwing it. He just, just hits hard. Yeah. And um, that's I why. The style he's got, though, you can't throw them kicks in sparring. Without being dangerous with it, no. And, it's um, like you can't do a flying light knee, can you? Know no. I mean? And it was like, um, it's, 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 you can't practice it, can you? But then, like, wrestling wise, like, Wrestling what wise, it was a lot more eve, e- even to where I think if he'd been fighting, I think I could have beat him wrestling wise. Like, it was, yeah, yeah, because he's he's not wrestling base, he's a karate guy. Who's, you know what I mean? who's one of the yeah. guys in the gym, anyway, 
Who is the guy that in training that stands out hell of a lot? In what area though? Feely's got one of the best mentalities of anyone I've ever met. Yeah. Um, and like the way he does his prep and stuff for fights now seriously takes everything now. And um, some of his setups, like we had unbelievable sparring in my last time we sparred, I dropped my left hand a little bit and he caught me with a um, jab, cross, right high kick, and clipped me in the neck, oh, right. stiffed me completely. Yeah. So I stopped and he was laughing his head, head off. And was like, but first of all, he was like, you okay, you know what I mean? Race yeah. here, some coach come behind me and make sure I was alright. I was like, Yeah, fine. Like didn't knock me out or anything, but you know when you just have one of their mitts and you're like, I can't move now because yeah. I'm moving. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna go a little mm-hmm. bit like so um yeah. that was the end of our sparring and stuff. But then his next fight he fought, he fought a Brazilian in his last fight, knocked one, two high kicks, rocked him, finished him up. Yeah. That's what he finished the fight with. Yeah. Um So you knew how it worked. <laughs> so, uh, he's one of the best setups of our and like training with him now I know to watch for it a lot more and um sure he'll, he'll push you on. I know. Chris <laughs> Gonzalez, um he's one of the best wrestlers I've ever trained with, um to the point where I physically can't exchange with him in a wrestling exchange. Right. Whereas most people, even um, the wild weights I train with, I can keep them out. Like a lot of time they get in and obviously as soon as they're in it's hard to defend it by can yeah. scramble and stuff, but he just literally just takes it down when he wants to. It's one of those um um, that's a game changer then it's like there's jiu jitsu as... guys who, like it's weird it's like some of the guys I train with and some of the guys who roll to the gym like um, who's the one um, uh, there's a lightweight fighter he's just gone up the wild I believe he caught he fought um, who's the guy with the spin knock kicks um, Bob Bosa Bob Bosa who did he, he fight um, Kevin Lee yeah. I, Kevin Lee walked into the gym one day, so we had a roll. Oh, right, I yeah. subbed him. Sure. Yeah, yeah. Like, as soon as we started, obviously, everyone, he said he was, he was there on all day and everyone was trying to kill him when we were talking about yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. I was like, well, you look when you're who you are, do you mean it, it is yeah. how it is? Like, but we rolled Jiu Jitsu, we had a good roll, I, I, clip, I caught him. And it's yeah. like, um, it's these guys there, they're, they're at, at the level, and you realise how close you are to being the top, but it's just yeah. they stand at what they do. And they yeah. got such good, like we talked, they got such good game plans. Yeah. So they do their game plan, they implement their game plan to yeah. such a degree that they win by just forcing their game plan. I think yeah. that's just an awesome, awesome way. You just <coughs> with yeah. Kevin, I met Kevin before. He does not look as big as what he actually is. You when no. you speak to him in person, like you think, oh, he's he's okay. He's he's a reasonable size, lightweight. But like when he jumps to the scales, and you realize how big he really is. Massive, like yeah. one ninety, lit one ninety. Who did he fight? You know? Wow. Mm. Faber's good friends with Max Holloway. Yeah. And he said when he was eight weeks out from one of his fights in Hawaii, yeah. he was under ninety five pounds. Yeah. I spoke the butt in a one four five. He was as well. Yeah, he was one five pounds. That's the thing, I thought he was gonna go up, but then he went up and lost, didn't he? Yeah, he's Dustin Poirier, mm. yeah. Yeah, he fought Poirier. So I said But Max uh, is a Max is a massive featherweight. Like mm. that's one of them ones that when someone says, Oh, when you were a featherweight, they're just thinking the name Max Holloway, I think, yeah, I'm not a bad weight. I'm not He's huge. He is massive for featherweight. Massive. Yeah. I wonder what he is when he gets back in after the oh, He's got to be about 25 pounds heavy. He has to be. Because he was supposed to fight Khabib, wasn't he? He stepped in to fight Khabib and they stopped him, didn't he? Cutting weight. Yeah. yeah like, he, was, he, was, he would have to cut too much water. Yeah, but to, to, no, that's the weight above. Like It's mm-hmm. like you're not able to make, make but it then worth again, the weight. Yeah, but when like. he's coming in like 190 or 195, and mm-hmm. he can't make. Like light, even light too it's big. It's bonkers how they go that big, man. I know. Bonkers. Like I, I, I don't think I could get a one ninety and still. No. Like I'd like to uh, at the minute. Get the lightweight. <laughs> obviously, if, if if I realized how much time I would add off this one because they told me I was fighting on the July card in the night of champs. Yeah. I signed against Mario Saeed, so they agreed it. Ah, right. That would have been a good contract yeah. come through, oh, and then all of a sudden no contract come through. Let me talk about this now. So no contract come through. It's all it's all um, controversy. So. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so all were hell and good, no contract came through, waited, and then um, they were sort of keeping me hanging on a con- on a fight, so I did wonder, and then all of a sudden the Jack Shaw thing got released, that he was signed UFC, so yeah. I, re- um, I had already pulled from the card, because it was like four weeks out, I didn't have an opponent, and I wasn't taking a fight against top level opponent on four weeks notice, so yeah. I said, look, I said, have you found an opponent for me? They said, no, we can't find you, and I said, that's fine, I said, I'll wait till October, so um, October come around, um, first name they sent my name, Mario Saeed. I said, I, said, I laughed and said, oh, well, when was this sorted out then? Um, I said, yeah, no problem, we'll accept him, took a fight. Um, that was for then? Sent me the contract. All of a sudden then, um, no, this was for October. Right. Come in, oh, October okay. 12th. Okay. So um, all of a sudden then, um, Rage got announced, main event, Mario Saeed versus some boy yeah. 49 years, 20 days before um, Cage... Or he is, so it's like there's no way safe MA would allow him to fight. Yeah. So um 
I messaged Ian. He didn't reply. So um, later on after training, I dropped my call. He was like, yeah, he said, I know what it's about. He said, I seen your text last night. He said, but I'm trying to sort it out. Basically, they'd all agreed. So what I think had happened, this is why I knew it, that when I sort of, they contacted Mario about London, they offered me him for London. They agreed that he'd obviously fight me headline in Cardiff. Yeah. Good way for him to sell tickets well. Mario can bring people as well. He sells <laughs> yes, tickets. Yeah, yeah. So it's awesome for them. I don't care who I fight. I'll just fight wherever they give me. I'll, I just yeah. like beating people, do you know what I mean? So um, I, um, no problem for me. Um, he pulled out and then he's... So he basically pulled from the fight to fight me in October to fight against the guy who I'm 49 years on a show in Rage instead of fighting in October on Cage Warriors, main event in Cardiff. Yeah. Um, yeah. And then he's going out, calling other people out now. He's been calling Jack Grand out and stuff on, on the internet mm-hmm. then. And it's like, just... You, you had an opportunity. You're talking big. Yeah. I, I had already agreed. That guy will sign a contract. Um, now, um, Ian Dean said he's never fighting on a cage warrior's card again. Straight yeah. up. And I spoke to Shaky about that after it. And um, he said um, they'd spoke about the same thing. So, yeah. obviously, don't mean again. Because obviously, uh, one of your, on the same show, was that the one where George Tracy fought? Is it Wes Mersh? Did he fight in that? It's called main event. I think it was. Yeah. Because Mario he fought someone and won. No, he's coming up, but it's the one he's on. No, 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 no. Yeah, I was meant to fight him in October coming up. No, the, the, the last show he was on, you're on, what, that was it? Which one? No, but there's I was supposed race. to fight him in, in July, and oh, they didn't come through. Well. Yeah, and then October the 12th, before. I'm fighting on now. That's right. the date I'm fighting now. They offer me him straight away, and I accept. And Rage yeah. is September in... September the 25th. It's 20 days, September the 25th. Well, there, was, there was one recently, though, wasn't it? Like about a month or two ago. Probably, where? That's the post they announced, I think it is. Ah, right, okay. But it's, yeah, that's it. Yeah, but um, it's just... I don't understand these people like um why like like you you you're a fighter right Jimmy yeah. you look in for fights constantly and you got these people who they talk massive and then don't they offer them the fights they ask about and the fights that they've mm. confirmed and then they they back out the fights I mean one foot for nine years on range yeah. and it's like you're all well and good chasing all these wins but if you're not fighting people and you're not fighting on top organisations and who, he, who, are, you, who yeah. are you playing like? he's, a, he's a bit of a controversial one I think isn't he he took a dive, yeah. so... <laughs> yeah, that was ridiculous. That was. <laughs> that was the worst... That was the worst dive ever. Yeah. He, he complained about it and then... Was <laughs> so, yeah. question for Brett. Who's your... If you could pick your own fight next Ooh. fight, who would you fight? Uh, In the entire UFC roster. Not counting the champions, because I know you're the same yeah. as me. You'd be like, I want to fight... <laughs> I, I want to fight with the belt. Like, <laughs> I said, I said, do, do you know what? A lot of names are thrown up after after the... The Pedro and mm-hmm. Garbrandt fight. They've they've used shout about Garbrandt, but literally, I think when he comes back the next time, he's going to be an animal. I think with uh, with Garbrandt, it's one of them ones that you're going to wake up in the head in the morning, regardless what happens. Uh, if I had to pick my next one, um, Garbrandt might be good. Yeah, <laughs> no, uh, Garbrandt be a good fight. I'd like that. To be honest, like I said, I'm happy to fight. You know, I, I got to be sensible to a certain extent. Mm. But then again, like the, I did say this, I said this, and uh, I'll say it again. I'll fight anyone mm. other than the one fight that I didn't want, didn't want and that, yeah. that would be Jack as a fought fair Welshman. I'd fight anybody, what, honestly. What do you mean you didn't want? Well, we, 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 <laughs> it's the fight I got, yeah, it's the fight I got off of. But, uh, <laughs> we, 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 we talked about this, and it's like when you get in the UFC, is Wales versus the world, right? And it's the easiest yeah. way. You, we're all supposed to support each other, yeah. push yeah. ourselves on as a country, push each other on. So why the hell are they offering Welsh fighters Welsh yeah. fighters when they've got over in UFC they signed over five hundred and sixty fighters. Yeah. They can't find anyone else you to fight apart no. from a Welsh fighter. There is the about like <laughs> that, the card that they were trying to get stock over there. Copenhagen. Copenhagen, sorry. Yeah. Um like obviously him and Jack are trying to get on the same card. Yeah. They're both bantamweights, both in Europe. Yeah. The way they shut them up is to offer each other the fight. Yeah. There is that way you're looking at it. Um, or maybe they knew they were going to turn it down and then they can't keep asking. Yeah, yeah. They, they, I mean, you've got to look at it that way as well. Yeah, because like I said, I've, I, there's no secret. Everybody knows on my social media, I've been asking for it for absolute months. <laughs> after me. And yeah. even and even London. Like, I asked for London months before the fight and didn't get that one. You know, and then they, I have done my fair share of fighting away. Mm. Now I want something where it's relatively closer to home. For two reasons. One, because that's what I want. And two, mm. is because of... Financially, I couldn't. I can't afford to fund my trip out there. Well, this is the thing. I never mm. understood when you and Jack got signed originally, Marshman. Yeah. Why like the two of you were sort of like you want to fight on a. You said oh, I'd love to fight in a home card, and every yeah. I never even understood that because when I got in UFC, the way I always wanted to do it was obviously get in the states, yeah. fight in Vegas, New York, and then as soon as I went to Team Alpha Male, and um, they were like, 
we well, fight in this state and they charge that much tax. I'm like, whoa, 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 no, what do you mean? Yeah. And um, I never even understood that sort of side <laughs> of things that you get taxed on the country of fighting. It wasn't yeah. until obviously you you're talking to guys who were there that you understand it, and it's like it's all hell and good because they say oh, you're different. in your FC, you're in a yeah. good money, but it's not because they tax you on this certain rates. And like which we talked yeah. about, Uruguay had a 19 percent tax rate. 19. percent well, It was funny when I got handed my my bonus check from the Soto fight. And they handed me a check for thirty-five thousand dollars. Said, "Wait, there, that's got to be fifty thousand dollars." And they went, "Yeah, fifteen goes to the state for tax. Fifteen thousand dollars." And that's a bonus. See, I don't understand yeah. that because I thought a bonus would count. That they don't do it like that. Gift. They do it as wages. I thought yeah. it'd be counted as prize money because yeah, no, exactly. you don't get taxed on prize yeah, money. No, it's not because it's done as you're employed by UFC. Yeah. What was the show yeah. the other day? The show that John Jones was on and July sixth. The, no, the, the one that the, the one that there was a trace. Of something in his system, and they moved it. There's always a trace. Oh, that was the Gus fight. They, they, yeah. moved, it from, they moved it from uh, they Vegas. They moved it from LA. Vegas, which is tax York, free. Yeah. No. To LA. LA. Yeah. Tax free in Vegas to LA, which is high tax. So everyone was like, oh, and well, one of the fighters was like, oh, I was going to buy a car, now I can't. <laughs> no, it's not. There's not much of a difference between Vegas and LA. The two big tax prices. LA, yes, granted, definitely more higher on the ta- on the tax. Because yeah. people, when I was out in um, Vegas, they were saying that they were having people moving from LA to Vegas because of the tax. And tax in Texas is a good place to fight. I'm sure they're tax free. Good, yeah, yeah. Like, not tax free, but low tax. Yeah, low tax, tax. Yeah, but like some of the quieter states, like they 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 better. But you know, especially states where people visit a lot, LA, Vegas, New, New York, York is, I mean, they're all they're all like high, high tax. tax. Like what Canada like in general? I think it's um it's, it's the same really quite high tax in certain places mm. you know and especially with the, the events when you especially when you talk about Canada they only usually have UFC events in big places you know what I mean well, Toronto this yeah. is the thing people don't un- un- understand and um, this is what like we talk about in the yeah. break the only way to make money as a fighter is through sponsorship right that's the yeah. only way because otherwise you can fight for like obviously the Cowboys are on 300 grand and all but that's that's awesome to be able to get to that point. But then by the time you've made that point, you've already got the image and stuff. And like he's sponsored by Monster yeah. and he's sponsored Bad by Boys, Bad Boys, he- yeah. and um, Henry Rifles, I think it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, do you know what I mean? They're massive companies. So you're at well, that they level. They pay for everything and the wages. Yeah. Yeah. And then it's just like, here we go, there's, th- there's 300 grand bonus. Yeah. Oh my God, they took 15% of it. But yeah, you've still got 200 and something odd grand. Yeah, yeah. Bonus on top of your wages. Mm. It's the sponsors that carry people. So. If anyone's watching this, and honestly now, right, <laughs> Brett John's a good I need a sponsor. There, sponsor to support yeah. Welsh ath- athletes. If you're a Welsh ca- company, please support and get behind your Welsh athletes yeah. so that they can actually live a living standard. Yeah. Honestly, for like... Me, mate, for, for me, that's major. It is, it's it, absolutely major. And like I said, it's okay because... When I first started asking for sponsorships, it was a couple of hundred quid here and there, like, do you know what I mean? <laughs> you got guys, like I said, once that Reebok deal came out, not that it affected me, because it didn't in the slight test. I was getting no sponsorship, and now I get sponsored from Reebok. But some fighters <laughs> were getting battered with that. Stitch. Yeah. Stitch. Y- yeah, that's the job. He was the cut man, and he, no, he, he gave it up. He said, I'm, I'm he said, this, not. He said I, I get more sponsors. He said, I get more pay from sponsors per fight than I get from my contract with US. Yeah, he said, yeah. why would I go in there? He said, and take, I think it was like a seventy percent pay cut. Yeah, like Brendan Schwab was one of them guys who was getting like over a hundred k in sponsors. Then got Harley, well, got the rebuy thing. After a certain amount of fights, you get it up higher and higher. But it's, it's no more. Than I think Cowboy was one of the ones that lost a lot as well, didn't he? But then obviously Monster come in and they sure they pay yeah. a lot. Eric, Eric Silva lost hundred twenty. Because he was the Budweiser. Yeah. To me as well. Budweiser are good with him, I think. Um, and, yeah, they still pay him. Oh, I don't think it's as much. That's as another it. thing as well, like Cowboy. I'm not sure if any of you notice, he fights with a strip of old Muay Thai shorts. Ah, right, no, so they stopped shot, it. And they didn't like that, they stopped it. They stopped it, it and yeah. now they've let him do it again. Yeah, yeah, because they, they, they found that absolutely furious. And I think... What does he do? There's basically, he's a, a bit of shorts. There's a bit of Thai short. I'm not sure if you, if, if you watch his old fights, you've got the same strip of Thai shorts. He sews so it on his shorts, he does. Cuts it off after the fight, puts it on the next shorts, every fight. Right. Okay. It's a pair of shorts, his, his grandmother bought him his first pair of Muay Thai shorts, and he puts the strip so through the shorts yeah. every time. That's like getting people who go, they go with the same boxes, they're lucky pants. Models, I mean, lucky pants. But they just, did uh, stop it. he done it for the first fight, or yeah. the Reebok deal. And then they stopped him, and no, they took out. They said he couldn't do it, and he did it anyway. Yeah. He took half his wages. I don't yeah. think he complained. He didn't care. No. <laughs> he just, he just, he just did it. Yeah. And then they, they absolutely stopped it. They mm. shut it down. But now, well, they've allowed him to do it again. 
Yeah. See, I'm sure you like me. As long as I have Vaseline on my face, I'm up. Yeah, that's, all, that's all. That's, that's all. I need a bit of fast on my yeah. face. Loop my eyes up, and I'm ready to go. I need a bit of wall paint on. Yeah. I fight anyone. Do you know what I mean? Invis- invisible wall paint. He's, he's, he's having to have new paint. pants there, alone like you. Ah, no. Yeah. <laughs> Stick my carbon clients. Yeah. Oh, sorry, Reebok. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> my missus said that because I've been weighing in under arm pants just because they're comfy. I, I, I hate yeah. wearing boxes, like, so I only wear them for weigh-ins and fights. Apart from that, I don't. I'm training, obviously. I don't yeah. like wearing them. She's like, you've got to get nice looking pants. She's like, you're weighing in them under armour ones. I'm like, do you really think I care? <laughs> Turn out the weigh-ins, all I'm training Starving is a bottle thirsty. of water. Yeah. Just, I just want liquids. I'm weighing in, I'm like, drink, 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 drink. There we go. I said, I'm not going to be able to pull off the McGregor, like, speed or CR set of ones. Like, get a semi on, Jimmy. Get a bush at the side. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Get a semi Don't censor that. Who did? McGregor. 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 He did on the Mayweather thing as well. Did he? Yeah. Yeah, they was all talking about his dick for ages. Sorry. <laughs> the first one, is <laughs> Talking about it for ages. He's talking about the old boy. The old boy, aye. It's a good thing with me, the old boy talking because I haven't got one, so it's all right. <laughs> They're not talking about McGregor is uh, bits anymore. They're talking about him punching old men. Punching old so, uh, Who have yet now? Some old guy. Some old man in the pub. Like a 70-year-old guy that wouldn't take his whiskey. Have a drink of my whiskey. Have a drink, have a drink, whiskey. Whiskey. Have a drink. The guy He's like, no, mate, you, you lost right. that Russian. You want me? <clears throat> you do. Old guy in a pub. Is it, it definitely happening? I've seen the video. Yeah, but was it him? Like, yeah, it was definitely him. 100%. And he definitely did. And the old fair old guy, he took the cloak and went, there we are. I don't <laughs> he said something, he must need his voice. My my grandson is taller than you or something. I thought you don't want to get smacked properly by him, would you? My grandson, I, I, I don't think it's a question about our idiots, do you know I mean? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it's a question about our idiots. Like, yeah. it's, just, it's just stupid. But I've got to go, who's your grandson? Francis Nangaro. There's <laughs> someone behind him, right, who's so smart and switched on voice to him. The Khabib fight I don't even think he even wanted to win that fight like obviously I think he took it and wanted to win but I don't think he yeah. prepped for it properly no. the whole the thing was the whiskey. he didn't get paid much for that fight no. I think when I say much mine I think it's still a good couple of million got paid yeah, right? yeah. but not as much as obviously the Mayweather payment it was the deal he had a deal on so that he was um, his whiskey company sponsored that event and I think three others and that was part every of every time weight. he fights it's every time he fights yeah it? which is but never again that weekend he fought he fought obviously Seals. Khabib Oh. That it was 140 mi- million in sales. I think he made. I think Whiskey. now his company is a billion pound. Yeah, company in, the first year, in the first sales. year. Yeah, the first yeah. Year. That week, I think there was someone at the Insta page when they ran out of whiskey. They did. <laughs> it went they, crazy. Yeah, they, they they sold six months supply in whiskey in that weekend. Basically, mm. they said. I don't know now. Because only problem is I don't. Don't drink whiskey. But it's going to look nice on my mantelpiece though for the next 50, 60 years. Yeah. Right, we've got two minutes just left. Just bottling with it when we have time. <laughs> just throw it in. There's your whiskey. whiskey. <laughs> you got, got Hold to me, please. What's your proper time? We've got about two minutes left now. Yeah. So before before you get a fan of people now, what do you rate, how do you rate the, the, the young Welsh lightweight, especially Auburn Elliott, who's, who's in your weight class? Yeah, he's, he's, he's good. Um, get some good opponents behind him and get some good fights. And um, yeah. obviously, do you know what I mean? He's, he's the next person to take over the reins. And... Um, it's just experience. Like um, I think a couple of his friends keep calling me out on on Twitter, but he he doesn't really know which one I speak to. So um, <laughs> I I never understood that. As like we said, is yeah. Like I'd never call someone else from Wales out. I know he, he'll message me, but he won't say on Twitter. Like he'll ne- he'll message me saying, "Oh, sorry about that," but he won't ever tweet and say, "Look, boys, get out." Yeah. Like, so we just it, it it. I don't really understand. There's not that. Like, and it, but yeah, I'd say it's, it's the same the same with, the, with with me and Jack. You know, it's one of the things at the end of the day. You know, especially. You've, I've trained with Jack a long time and stuff, and it is the the Welsh thing. And like our job, especially especially for someone like you who's trying who's getting to that stage now where UFC is not that far away, we want to try and build a Welsh UFC up. And by yeah. fighting each other and taking each other out, we'd stop taking that. that chance. If 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 his name got passed over a table to me and they said, is in the way of a belt, I fight him. There's there's yeah. no problem with that, right? But, but I don't understand why you. I'm looking forwards. I'm not looking backwards, and no. that's no disrespect to Obin because no. Obin's monster yeah. language again yeah. but um, he's up and coming whereas I'm looking he's at the, the start of his career yeah. not just that when he gets to the point that you're at you're looking to not be there anymore yeah I, I don't even see how it's a conversation you you go you see he takes your spot so you just stop and do another yeah. part <laughs> okay back in part three hello <laughs> Dana <laughs> yes yeah yes yeah, me yeah mm. before we snort this yeah, Brock Lesnar. Yeah, so <laughs> put, put me in there. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, I'll do it for fifty quid. Yeah, thanks. Okay. <laughs> okay. Bye bye. Bye bye.
Give Reebok a ring. I want to make sure. Give Reebok a ring. Who is that, Brett? Uh, <laughs> nobody important. Yeah. Okay. okay. So, yeah, we were just saying about, um, who was we talking about? Oban Elliott. Oban. So, Oban's at what? How many fights has he had now, Pro? Two? Two. Two, two, two pro two. fights, yeah. Uh, yeah, so, but, like, w- the climbing asp thing he's going to do, as I say, it's, it's funny that they're talking about it in the Kim conversation because I just see, like, you not being there by the time you're there. <coughs> it's a bit silly. But, like, these up and coming guys, I mean, you know, there's, there's a few, like, uh, Ben. Ben Ellis. Ben Ellis. 100%. You know, I know you don't like I like I like Ben. I think Ben will go really far. I think Ben's going to do really well. Yeah. Talking about that, um, it's, it's the same as when I was first starting over. over. Like, I'd have people who would literally mess me saying, when are you going to fight Jack Shaw? Whereas Jack yeah. was feather at the time and I was lightweight and then it was just don't make sense. And, like, people's tweeting me at the minute now saying, you're going to fight Morgan Chapa. Morgan Chapa's a featherweight. And I'm yeah. like, well... I'll fight him if his name comes over the table, mm-hmm. but he's yeah. from the other way. Yeah. I mean, I just I'd don't like understand. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I, I ain't got a fair weight. <laughs> no, that I think, yes. obviously, you're, you're a decent sized lightweight, mm-hmm. but does that ever cross your mind, fair weight? No. I, um, yeah. Every time I do a he's water huge, cut, I wind him up, and we get, we get in a bath, <clears throat> do the water cuts, and um, as soon as we finish and weigh in, I was like, I, I could do either. I mean, <laughs> there's no way in this planet, because um, I'm cutting, and um, like the last weight cut was the best one we did, and I got slightly under championship weight, and... Um, I think anything more than that, and it's just obviously you just got to increase your cardio yeah. and then you start losing a little bit of muscle and stuff. I'm happy with where I am at the minute. Yeah, like, if it yeah. comes up where I do need to change my body type and I have to increase my cardio and so increase, you, change my frame, then it's an absolute. But I'm, I'm happy with where I am. You don't feel the strength dif- strength difference between anybody like Sage North, Cut, or anybody out there? No, um, no at all. Um, even the Desme fight, like Desme was supposed to be on PEDS and he, yeah. he was. <laughs> He's, mm-hmm. he's big. <laughs> this is like controversial. Full, full, full of this, ah, it's not controversial. We love it. This is great. This no, is. He's full of air. Yeah, you know when, when you release this, you have to put loads of little quotes. <laughs> well, you see these people. Look, if, there's me on beds. <laughs> if, um, <laughs> if, um, if, if the type of people like. Um, I can't okay, no, remember his name. Cody Fordham. Was, oh, Pedro. No. TJ Dillashaw. TJ, if Dillashaw, right? has been this long before he's got busted for peds, right? Yeah. Then who else is taking him, do you know what I mean? Yeah, so you've exactly. just got to... I don't care if you're taking it. You can take what you want. I'll fight you either, either way, right? I, <laughs> I, 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 yeah. I just like fighting people. But um, you yeah. just... If, if I'm doing it now and I'm fighting boys and they are taking it and I can beat them now, then it's not going to yeah. be a... St- like, this is what... There's, there's going to be that time where you wrestle or you fight... I mean, when it comes into UFC and they're going to be so strong, but I've got other things to do. I'll just keep chinning yeah. and running away. I, I think, like, I don't know, I, I don't, I don't really, I haven't really looked at the TJ story too much. I know he got, he just, he got quiet. <laughs> but, um, I don't know. We started that bar after, didn't he? Called Clean Juice. After he actually passed out the pads. <laughs> have you heard about this? He started a juicing bar. All, he must have had it all planned before. Called clean juice after he tested positive. To, yeah, <laughs> it's, it's like a health, like a health food shop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Unbelievable. Really, yeah. That's why he, I, I, that's why he didn't push it too much. It must have been like you, you, you can't push it. Did it fall through? No, it's no, nice. it's too well. It's too well. It's the only thing you can do, yeah. isn't it? Like you can't fight. This is try this mango with the EPO smoothie. But sorry, back to my point. The, the fact that you like don't you you got to not care about that. Like if people keep going on about everyone's on steroids, you got you can't worry about it. Because just fight if they get away with it, mm. you've got to fight them. Do you know what I mean? One of my coaches so once worry said, about it. Yeah. it's not illegal unless they get caught. And yeah. um, it's the way it is, do you know what I mean? It's like, I would never take steroids, but the amount of people who say that, and then two minutes later, they got an eagle in their ass. Yeah. 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 It, just, it is what it is. It's part of the sport, and it's, it's part of sports. Do you know what I mean? They reckon sprinters have been taking it for years. Oh, Cyclists have been doing it for years. Because I felt so, I felt terrible. I felt, not that I feel sorry for a lot of people, but I did feel sorry for for Cody. Three three losses in his record. In every single one of the losses. TJ twice and Pedro. Them boys have been done for pets. Do you know what I mean? I just feel like it's a unfortunate thing, really. I think all them losses should. Well, you know, obviously Pedro is, is clean now, but did take you know pets. I think, and with us, when it comes to pets as well, I don't think it should be just a ban. We're not on about like a football game where you can win a game. We're not about putting someone's life in danger. I think if that's, that's come up a lot of times. Do you know what I mean? I think so if someone dies as a result of losing murder. to someone, manslaughter. Pets, manslaughter, yeah. That's manslaughter. You know what I mean? At the end of the day, it's, um, it's a big thing. It should be spoken about because at the end of the day, it, it, it's, it's realistic. Because that day it does happen and people predict when they thumbs well, you know, what do we do? But. It will. It's going to cause. It's caused. It's definitely caused um, um, uh, uh, damage on Cody's career. 
by that happening. Which Massively. Massive. Which lost. Massive. Which you know what what lost the belt, yeah. lost everything because of that. Look at David Price's is. box set. I mean, his first three losses, they all they all got tested positive. Yeah. And his career is more or less ruined from there on yeah. David yeah. Price. Uh, never recovered from them knockouts. And it's the same, I yeah, guess. That sports. is the thing, yeah. And everybody ignores it now, and it's like David Price, that guy who could have been. But it's could, it's, that's that's a result from people taking steroids and pens yeah, and yeah. stuff. Do you know what I mean? It's just uh, when it's so close, and it's a one percent sport, which it ours is. Yeah. Um, then they can't make a difference. But you just you just got to be better than people. Just yeah. yeah. At the end, end of the day, it doesn't you can't matter worry about everyone else is doing. You get on the neck. Do you know what I mean? Go on then. There's always talking about which. Piss tested this morning, wasn't it? I was. Like, I got, I got uh, like, I look like junkie. I got bad like needle, needle tracks. mark, needle tracks in my arm. But it's not because I'm, I'm doing stuff on the weekends. It's because trying, of trying new ways to make weight. Saturday. Mind you, it's the first time I've had blood taken today for you Saturday. Was it? Never, I never had that. Before. What time did it knock your door? Seven a.m. Class. I was fuming. <laughs> I wasn't even there. I was in my, I was, in, I was in my girlfriend's house and. Um, my mother phoned me up and I panicked. I went, Man, I did another bed. And she went, you saw that. You got three oh, minutes to care. Brilliant. Yeah. yeah, so I went back to the house and did it. There. How long have we got? 50. You got, they say it's up to 50 minutes, roughly. I remember that time you you fought, I think it was the Casper fight. I was there watching you and I had a phone call saying you saw us at the door. So I can't do nothing about it now. I'm the, I'm the biggest MMA event in Wales and they decided to knock my door when that's on. What so. they say to that? Not this yeah, how do they not know like Cause yeah you, you can get in trouble for it yeah you can't wear about failures yeah i've had like one but then obviously i sent paper to tell i'm like look i was sure in this state and then it's like it's okay <laughs> Bre- you know? everyone's wondering why brett's gonna get his head on tv and yeah, cage on it hi guys i'm here can you just, I'm in the back can you just tell you sound <laughs> i'm in the back <laughs> like on the fight yeah. pass yeah. <laughs> it's just weird man i see but, uh, no i mean uh yeah People will get caught. They say they're blood tested. No, oh, big time. What is the rule on that? Because obviously, who is complaining about that? Um, Saint Hilton. It's so annoying. It's it is. They ran out of blood the amount of times they tested him. Is it? Yeah. yeah one time he got tested seven, eight times in a year, I think. Yeah, but mind you, he does look like an. Corner is the most bread. tested, isn't he? <laughs> Corner yeah. is the most tested athlete. Like, yeah. Is he? Yeah. Probably Anthony Joshua as well. Size yeah. on him. I oh, know he don't get tested. No. <laughs> Tested. They couldn't even find like a, a they feel like a pea cup. They couldn't even find a big enough for Anthony Joshua. <laughs> Anthony Joshua Co- get it out and it'll be Co- 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 like I try and catch it and put it in the, <laughs> in the bucket. <laughs> Corner Co- was the most tech te- te- the, the new FC apparently, yeah. And there was who was he fighting and they were testing them the same. They were testing the same. Al- was it Al- Aldo? Because Al- he complained yeah. because Aldo was on pads before. Because they were and they, they were testing them both exactly the same days mm. so that they couldn't complain that oh, I'm weak because of my blood and stuff like that but um, Aldo like no, kept knocking the piss towel over didn't he before did you he was pissing at the towel yeah, and he hit it over oh I'll do it again now I don't need to piss it over oh I hit it over again the kept rugby it, boy, he kept, some of the rugby boys I know will play semi-professionally and they get tested yeah. if anyone has been on a spicy weekend they just all refuse to piss and wait for him to go on. <laughs> yeah. They'll stay it. there for like, not that they just say, I can't, I'm nervous. Yeah. I'm from, uh, I'm from, I'm from, I'm from, I'm from Penny Craig and when they first started piss testing semi-pro rugby teams, all the Penny Craig team were banned for like two years. Wow. <laughs> Recreational drugs, not st- steroids. Yeah, all, oh. all cocaine and steroids. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, I was in Reading Festival that year and it's like, oh, you, these boys from Slenetti, where are you from? Penny Greg, oh, you drugs on him, boys. <laughs> <laughs> so I go, I don't play rugby, boys. <laughs> oh, that's a shame. <laughs> so, yeah. Brett, what fights, are, what shows are coming up now? What's, what, are UFC. You know any of the UFC ones coming up in the next couple of months? Copenhagen coming up uh, after, I think, Boston's on October the 19th. Like, I've been told recently that Copenhagen is not happening. Boston. So, Boston's a nice one, I I'd like, but Maybe then nice. it, I wouldn't. I probably won't go out there a week earlier. Like I'd like to, but uh, at least then, do. yeah, I'll probably just get a little bit lighter than I usually do. If anyone wants to sponsor <coughs> that, yeah, yeah, go to Boston a week sponsor. earlier. Yeah, I love that. Get Stone Island in the case. We nice need to have clothes then. Message him, man. I'm not selling my clothes. No, but what I'm <laughs> saying, I'm gonna die. Say now you had a sponsor like Stone Island, you yeah. wouldn't take any money off them. You just take clothes. No, I know, no they I do both, that. man. They That's pay you to wear their clothes. Yeah. No. Him. Oh no, no, I just wear the clothes. They pay you to wear the clothes. <laughs> yeah. Message, yeah. Drop them a message and see if they'll sponsor you. Drawn. See now you got oh, the Tommy T-shirt on, right? Yeah, sponsored. You had a free T-shirt, obviously. Yeah. 
He will not do that. He'll wear uh, like. I'll um, play for clothes. <laughs> oh, I, 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 not, not so much now. Also, say not since I haven't got money to spend on clothes. <laughs> when you had money to spend, it, like, oh, I might buy that jacket. That was three hundred quid. That's a nice jacket. Yeah, but then uh, all fairness, the gym, all, right, all right, fairness, yeah. I, do, I do, I do sell my clothes on. So let's just not get into my clothing addiction at the minute, right? <laughs> you gave money worse. off Alan. No, what does he? Kid, <laughs> 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 my breath on, do, sell yeah, his I boxes. Do. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Sweaty boxes. There's there a meme on Facebook. What cracks me up, right? So he, he keeps on entering like things online competitions, I win up. and he keeps winning. Yeah. Of course they do because you got to because it's the UFC fight. I posted, I won the lot, I won a draw, like thirty thousand followers. <laughs> <laughs> who, who are we going to have to win this? <laughs> oh, the guy with thirty thousand followers. Yeah. <laughs> what are the sponsors on, on on that? that are then I, I've got like you know what I mean adverts on your page. Yeah, I could do. Like I said, I've, I've had a few like um, do the TV as well. Yeah, I'll do a little bit of TV. TV. A good one is like Scots Men's where they've been meshed with a lot, but we just haven't really d- knuckled it down. But we should. You need someone to for yeah. you. You need a manager. I need you. That's what I need. My family switched on about it. Yeah. On me all the time. I've um, just applied a company for sponsorship again now. When the next thing after this is trying to get older butchers just to sort out meat and stuff meat for weight cuts. Yeah, I've asked me organic meat just because um, like the amount that I eat is like um, when I, I worked all out. And it's it's ridiculous. It's like seven kilos of chicken breast in a week, or six wow. ki- kilos. Yeah. I'm like, oh, that's my cat that is. Because yeah. I had the runs in and stuff. I'm running like eight k. So what? What? That's in you. My your, cat's is seven it? kilos a week, guys. My I don't eat meat. Uh, no, no, I got good nutritionist there. Yeah, so at the minute now, um, my cat at the minute is not a hard cat. It's what they call an easy easy cat because I've been cutting for so long, yeah. and with my runs in. So it's um, I wake up. I have sixty grams of porridge. Yeah. Um, thirty grams of nuts, mixed nuts. And um, powder cocoa, uh, cocoa. Yeah, yeah, I know. Powder, two eggs, and um, hundred grams of chicken. Yeah. Then meal one is um, a salad, leafy salad. Chicken for breakfast. This chicken. Is... Um. Uh, hundred fifty grams of white potato, and two hundred twenty-five grams of fish, chicken, or steak. Yeah. Um, and then I have to have chicken three times a week. Uh, steak three times a week, fish three times a week, um, and then chicken for so the rest. Tr- so it all dates every day. So I have certain days eat what well, and liver on on a certain days. So normally I have liver on Wednesdays, and then um, like fish on Tuesday and Thursday. And is liver good for you? Is, yeah, good. I love liver, Nando's. Yeah, kind of like the steak. Or is it, they, they tell you what every every other day. I think so. Yeah, it was just slow the break. Says, slow the break down. Out. Yeah, and um, fish on the alternate things. days to get the fats the same mm-hmm. as the. Yeah. But it's it's good, and the the way he does it all is like you, where when I don't cut weight, like I've asked him now, we have everything. So when I'm not hiding, I've got a diet sheet, so I know exactly what I should be eating. So then, if if I go out and eat something that's not on the hygiene, it's not a problem. But then the next day, I know exactly what I eat at certain times. Mm. Yeah. Because you eat in, and like, I went weird. Whereas I I got a little bit ill um, when I went in between these fights at this time I had a bit of a sickness bug and my food went literally over like the two days I didn't I didn't eat the one day and that's not like me because I love eating food yeah. I eat loads but it's just like ways if I knew I had a diet cheat where I knew exactly where I'd eat I would have forced myself to eat even if I was ill and struggling to keep it down yeah. I would have forced myself to eat yeah? just because you get into that routine and it's like 1% saying you know exactly what you're eating at what times and you don't stress about it yeah. like you know, obviously I'm not at the level where like Cody Grant Prant is where literally some chef turns up with a hot meal for him goes eat this I mean, like oh, awesome, go all my food, but yeah, cut the food for you, like. trying to get yeah. that point. Like if 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 I can sort of butchers up next, the Welsh butchers where I can push, yeah. um, um, and then they just send you new like doing, like three steaks a week, certain amount of chicken a week, um, f- fresh fish. It no, just knows, no. Difference. Like, <laughs> uh, Nando's black card. That's on them. UFC fighter drop a message. <laughs> Nando's. They, oh, they love. Oh, the Americans love Nando's. They just haven't got any over there. <laughs> yeah, I remember Jim Ellis fighting. He, he's a guy. Uh, oh, actually, he fought in the weekend just gone. He fought Leona Garcia in um, BKB, and uh, he said he just loved Nando's. He'd come over here just to have a Nando's. I go there for Cheesecake Nando's. Factory. <laughs> Celiac, I'm as well. Nice. So I can't eat wheat. Ah, oh, it, it kills it? me. Can't oh. eat cakes and stuff. So easier when you can't eat wheat, man, because you got um, sort of like. F- it's free from stuff, so it's like no gluten. Yeah. It's yeah. like special f- f- flour, but there's so much more sugar in. Yeah. If you ever want a good brownie in Starbucks, the right. gluten-free brownie, yeah, better than the rest. 
Is better it? than normal ones because they put so much sugar in there to make up for it. Yeah. <laughs> it <is so> <laughs> <laughs> I thought you'd be better than myself. Come to the gym, they're coming to the next podcast. They're going, I'm new, like 88 kilos. Like that. <laughs> yeah, I would, it, it, it's more expensive dieting for you, I suppose, with, the, with, this, with being a celiac. Veg meats, it's just yeah. lean stuff, you know what I mean? I don't eat um, anything. I remember there was a fight that I can't remember, so I think it was from France. And he, and he couldn't eat, eat him. We was like yeah. driving around the middle of the night when he arrived cooking, <laughs> looking for, you know, for food for him because he, in the hotel hard, he couldn't yeah. eat it. Like it's certain sauces and stuff is like like wow. um, you know like stir fry sauces. He's yeah, good in a lot of them yeah, and stuff yeah. like that. But yeah, so try and sort that out next. But um, I got a good team behind me, and it's just nice to be able to told. Whereas I know you being a thing where. Like I couldn't imagine where you had to where you had to sell your own tickets. My brother yeah. sorts my tickets out. Nice. For me. You've like, always... I'll buy him a Rolex one day. I've said this to him. Yeah. Whenever yeah. I make enough money, I'll buy him a Rolex because I could never do that. No. You chase people for tickets. Yeah, like yeah, you yeah. go, there's four hundred quid missing here, three hundred quid missing here. Like where's the money? Yeah. And he goes, you've called me a few times. You've gone, I'm missing three hundred quid. And like that's not me this time. All Honestly, of it's yeah. not me. All of your fights have been on Cage Warriors, and they apart from one, apart from one. But they well, he sorted me out for one fight. But like Brent they were, it. they Brent were all like. Yeah. They're all like on the public eye on the main, not on the main card, but everyone is, apart mm. from the it's one fight, seen, yeah. all your fights have been seen, whereas Brett, you fought in like, more of a social club, more of a social club, you fought in Kamala Showground. Maximum, maximum venue Nasty, capacity yeah. is about yeah. 50 people. <laughs> <laughs> on a Sunday. That's the maximum capacity, there's about 12 in there. <laughs> you fought three of them. Yeah, like, <laughs> I thought I fought in some some dodge. Oh, come on, in showground. Come on, yeah, see. Yeah. yeah, but he was fighting. He was fighting pro boxing before that. was well, how many pro amateur boxing fights did you do? None. No, I'm. They were because um, they did the judo. They were ah, right, funny because yeah. they were Welsh. That's you know, because yeah. obviously Marshman and all they and boxed. They fought, wasn't it? Yeah. And um, it wasn't their fault. They were just sort of there wasn't a set rule in it. But then they went the opposite way. Then they went oh too much on yeah. it, and they were like. They basically said to me, look, you're going to have to take a ban. And I was like, well, what am I taking a ban for? I just want to box. And they were like, no, you're going to have to wait at, like a certain amount of time. So my coach was like, why don't you just box pro? So I was like, yeah. oh, yeah, it, 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 made do the next day. I went and signed a pro contract and um, sorted that out, did my medical. And then when the end of the arm, three fights, they yeah. kept canceling shows and stuff on me. Yeah, it, yeah. It, it, I remember when, when that happened when the two jacks went worse vest than they. Mm-hmm. And then they, because basically with, with the, a, the WABA, they go turn to boxing in the street. Mm-hmm. They go on your boxing experience. Yeah, and yeah. they didn't count any other combat sport at the time mm. as because I know I I know Marshman got a little bit about that. Sorry, <laughs> a little bit of trouble about that. But you just do what you're told to do, and it's not like saying, "Oh, right, yeah, but you did something bad." It's like that. Yeah. Was, that was the rules. They did exactly what the yeah. rules were. It was just because boxing, they didn't sort of they didn't include boxing, it. They, didn't they just didn't rate. Yeah. What were they done? And it's yeah. like that's all hell and good, but like it just doesn't make sense. No. And it was like, and it was wrong. They were completely wrong. Mm. And basically, and I say the Welsh after it's, it's it's a lot of old men running it. I know I meant few who, who don't want who don't want to pass the torch on to anyone else who will run it this day and age. You know, oh, it's a mess through social media yeah. and stuff as well, no, advertising wise. Um, they just want to hold on to something that they can't be bothered to do. That's why you can only have 12 fights in the show. They turn up late for the show and then cancel it. Well, if it's 13, 14 foot, are we going to cancel two? Too many, be too long. But if he was on time, it'd be different. Way in. Yeah. So, sorry, this is one of them. So, like, I don't know the amateurs, the pros were. I turned up at weigh-ins exactly the same time they told me to be there because I'd be dying from a water cut, waiting to do the same day because I water cut a little yeah. bit to do the same day, even yeah. the more than I should sh- sh- have. But I needed to cut the weight. I was like seventy eight kilos cutting to seventy for a same day weigh in. Wow. So I was there was nothing left of me. Like I was doing starvation cuts and all yeah. of it. Yeah. Um anyway, um I turned up the weigh in a few times and the doctor, um like the people who were doing the weigh ins just laughing and choking around and I was looking at my clock, it's like three minutes past. It's like, Oh, when are we start weigh ins? He's like, Oh yeah, we can go down, take you down whenever you want. I'm like, Well, I clearly look close to death. Yeah. <laughs> clearly. And you're there laughing, choking, eating your sandwiches yeah. because it's not a big yeah. deal. The amateurs right? even worse. And it's them. just it's a circus. Whereas at least with cage warriors, they're on time and everything. And good joke about this, which is well, not a joke, but funny, was when I, I had all this trouble with the box in, I mentioned uh, I went to see Richard and and said, look, I'm interested in going into cage warriors. How do I go about getting on onto the card? Because obviously, 
Um, I was fi- I didn't really have a, I had different gyms I was training at, but I wanted to know how I get on the card. So rather than try and like ask them to ask, I just went straight to the source and said, "Look, can yeah. you get me on the card?" Yeah. And he said, "Yeah." He said, "Don't worry about all these fallouts." He said, "We guarantee you." He said, "You'll have a fight." He said, "There won't be any problems again. Your opponent sorted. The shows won't cancel. Won't be a problem, right?" Yeah. Awesome. Signed a contract. Brad Haslett failed his brain scans. <laughs> it was like, look, we've had a bit of an issue. It was a week ago. His brain scans have failed. We'll find you a new opponent. Find me a new opponent. They paid, I think, the Russian through his medicals. Three days off, he'd failed his eye test. Split through his. Oh. They were like, I was like, I don't want to do this. He was like, but I can't give you a fight. He's like, you're going to have to fight um, amateur. He's like, I can find you a. Um, yeah, I remember you that fight. Amateur yeah. opponent. They found me that guy from Trojan, I think. Yeah, no, I, remember that, I remember that fight. When in Cardiff, and I was. Because that was, that was fight with Brett. He failed, because this has happened a lot, people failing brain scans. Call me on my brain scans, though. Exactly. There's not many people who have just had brain scans go straight through. Because Brett has it, got it cleared hmm. a couple of months later, and that's why he fought again, didn't he? I um I passed a boxing brain scan, um all cleared. Three months later, I um or two months later, I did my MMA ones exactly the same tests, and they come back and said um, we're not happy with your brain activity. And I said, well, I just passed my boxing one. I was like, I haven't had any big hits in that time. I was like, can you understand? Like, they was like, no, well, you need to see a specialist, and you have to pay two hundred and fifty quid to see a specialist. So I was like, right, fine, paid it, waste my time. It was supposed to be an hour slot. The doctor was supposed to have hour slots and he was rushing us in every 20 minutes just so we could make cash and not money. Yeah. None of it was going uh, to the system. He had people there waiting in the NHS as well. So he was just raking money in front of Ahmed. And he said, it was like, oh, you had a little bit of brain shrinkage. It could have been from heavy sparring or it could have been he was dehydrated and it could have affected it. We don't really know. We just don't know how strict safe MA wants to be. So I was like, right, that's fine. I was like, can you clear me now? He's like, oh, we need to do these different tests for you and all. And he was asking me like political questions and stuff. I was like, mate, I was like, I stay away from all the news and stuff. I was like, it's depressing. I was like, I, I can't answer these questions. Right, marking you down, marking you down. And he was oh. like, well, you mean, what's this got to do with my brain? Like, do you know what I mean? Uh, what's Boris Johnson's birthday? No, but, yeah. Come on, mate. <laughs> the weird thing. I know like, my dad's who's birthday. Ahead of, who's ahead of this party? And I was like, look, I was like, I've, I haven't been watching the election campaign. I was like, I deliberately stay away from it. I don't watch news. I don't read newspapers. The news comes on the radio. I turn yeah. the radio off. I, think, I don't need that in my life. What they uh, do now? We got two minutes. So Give a couple of shout outs to your sponsors. Yeah, because otherwise I'll keep talking. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. First. Shout his own podcast. Yeah, you should. Um, so, PP Build is a big one. Um, CCS Scaffolding is another one. Um, the Tami, um, they sponsored me like seven years. Peyton Seekers. Um, PKE, who was my nutritionist. Um, Hilltop Honey for all the support. Um, and one more was. I can't forget one. Uh, I, one. I'll, I'll, I'll I always, it. I always forget. I do. I always forget one or two. All different doors. No That's a long end story. All right. Reebok. <laughs> <laughs> hey, thanks for thanks for coming on again. Bye, always person. a pleasure to have you on. You know, I, mean, I love talking, so it's not a problem. No, it was good. The best podcast is where the guests say you know, more than me and Wally. Yeah. Yeah, you were asking us questions. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's awesome to get a chance to talk to Brett. Oh, you need man, um, like twice. It's been brilliant. Yeah. Honestly, I'm, I'm like so I said, I love you and with the alpha male stories and stuff. So, class. Just come out with me next time, man. I know, innit? Get filled with me, right? Uh, if we can get some of your sponsors, you will. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, when I get the sponsor house next time, generally, with them, um, because they, they did pay for the one, um, you've come to speak. Oh, man, I'd love, love to, to pay anything. It'd be great. Sort your flight out, that's the thing. Yeah. Yeah. 400 fucking 500 pounds. <laughs> Awesome. Right. Ma- Mario C just tagged me in a post. Episode, <laughs> episode <laughs> 40 is done. Where's Mason Jones? <laughs> oh,